Hello students, welcome to Adhan's classes. In this video we are providing 50 most important and latest current affairs question answers with explanation. Watch carefully and don't forget to like and subscribe this YouTube channel. So let's begin. Question 1. Who has been elected as the new Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh? A. Vishnudev Sai B. Raman Singh C. Raza Munda D. Devdatta Sir The correct answer is A. Vishnudev Sai Former Chhattisgarh BJP President Vishnu Dio Sai will be the new Chief Minister of the state. Vishnudev Sai will be the first tribal Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. Question 2 Who has been elected as the new Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh? A. Mohan Yadav B. Jyotiraditya Sindhya C. Digvijay Singh D. Shivraj Singh Chauhan The correct answer is A. Mohan Yadav Mohan Yadav has been elected as the new Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. In the outgoing government, Higher Education Minister Shri Yadav was elected from Ujjain South seat. Mohan Yadav became MLA for the first time in 2013. Question 3 what is the full form of CRPS, the most painful condition known to mankind? A. Compile Register Pain System B. Combo Referral Pain Syndrome C. Confer Rejected Pain Syndrome D. Complex Regional Pain Syndrome The correct answer is D. Complex Regional Pain Syndrome A 10-year-old old Australian girl has developed incurable complex regional pain syndrome CRPS, often called the most painful condition known to mankind. According to Stanford Medicine, CRPS usually affects limbs after injury and CRPS causes greater pain than a typical injury. Question 4. Who becomes first Indian to take wickets of both father and son in test cricket? A. Jaspreet Bumrah B. Ravichandran Ashwin C. Umesh Yadav D. Mohammad Shami The correct answer is B. Ravichandran Ashwin Ravichandran Ashwin has become the first Indian to take wickets of a father-son duo in Test cricket. Ashwin dismissed stage Nareen Chandarpal for 12, 44, in West Indies. Ashwin had dismissed stage Nareen's father Shiv Nareen Chandarpal for the first time in 2011 and went on to dismiss him multiple times. Question 5. Why did India not sign the Global Renewable Energy Pledge at the COP28 summit recently? A. Development concerns. B. Lack of resources. C. Political disagreement. D. Technological limitations. The correct answer is A. Development concerns. India has declined to sign on to a Global Renewable Energy Pledge launched at the COP28 Climate Summit in Dubai. Question 6. At which place the Vak statue of Baba Ambedkar is installed recently? A. Mumbai B. Bangalore C. Jaipur D. In New Delhi The correct answer is C. Jaipur Wax Museum In a significant tribute to the chief architect of the Indian constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, a wax statue has been unveiled at the Jaipur Wax Museum. Nahargar Fort Question 7 Which country's constitutional court confirmed the re-election of President Andrei Rajolina? A. Mojambik B. Mauritius C. Madagascar D. Malloy The correct answer is C. Madagascar Madagascar's constitutional court confirmed President Andrei Rajolina's re-election for a third term declaring him the winner with 59% of the votes cast. Question 8. Who is set to assume the position of Vice Chief of Naval Staff on 4th January? A. Vice Admiral Dinesh Tripathi B. Vice Admiral Sanjeev Tripathi C. Vice Admiral Rakesh Nagar D. Vice Admiral Hari Kumar The correct answer is A. Vice Admiral Dinesh Tripathi 
Vice Admiral Dinesh Tripathi sets to assume the position of Vice Chief of Naval Staff on 4th January. Question 9. Which country launched the world's first methane liquid oxygen rocket, which could become the next generation of launch vehicles into space? A. Russia B. North Korea C. China D. USA The correct answer is C. China a private Chinese firm, Landspace, successfully launched the world's first methane liquid oxygen rocket, which could become the next generation of launch vehicles into space. The Jukto carrier rocket took off from the Zhukuan Satellite Launch Center. Question 10. Why was Noah Moitra expelled from Lok Sabha on 8 December 2023? A. Financial Misconduct B. Involvement in cash for query scam. C. Violation of parliamentary dress code. D. Absence without leave. The correct answer is B. Involvement in cash for query scam. Lok Sabha member Mahua Moitra was expelled on 8 December 2023 on charges of a cash for query scam. Question 11. What is the targeted per capita income range in Vision India at 2047? A. $5,000 to $8,000 B. $10,000 to $12,000 C. $18,000 to $20,000 D. $22,000 to $25,000 The correct answer is C. $18,000 to $20,000 Vision India at 2047 aims to achieve a per capita income in the range of $18,000 to $20,000 by 2047. Question 12. Which Indian American has been awarded the Martin Luther King Grand Parade Special Award? A. Harmeet Dhillo B. Krishna Vavilala C. Irohit Khanna D. Imaya Ajmera the correct answer is B. Krishna Vavilala. Krishna Vavilala, an Indian American, has been awarded the Martin Luther King Grand Parade Special Award. Question 13. Bukaswaha Mine, which was seen in the news, is located in which state? A. Chhattisgarh. B. Madhya Pradesh. C. Assam. D. Andhra Pradesh. The correct answer is B. Madhya Pradesh. The mine is inside a forest in Bukaswaha, located 200 kilometers from Sanchi, Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh accounts for about 90% of the total diamond resource of the country. Andhra Pradesh and Chhattisgarh are the other states that produce diamonds. Question 14. When does the Jewish festival of lights, Hanukkah, typically commence in the Jewish calendar? A. 25th of the month of Sivan. B. 25th of the month of Tisri. C. 25th of the month of Adar. D. 25th of the month of Kislev. The correct answer is 25th day of the month of Kislev. Hanukkah begins on the 25th day of the month of Kislev, the ninth month in the Jewish calendar. Question 15. Which India born British man won the Freedom of the City of London Award? A. Lakshmi Nivas Mittal B. Gopi Hinduja C. Manish Tiwari D. Kiran Mazumdar Shaw The correct answer is C. Manish Tiwari Manish Tiwari, an India-born British man, won the Freedom of the City of London Award. Question 16 What change has been made to UPI limits in the December 2023 RBI MPC meeting? A. Increased to 2 lakh rupees per transaction. B. Reduced to 50,000 rupees per transaction. C. Maintained at 1 lakh rupees per transaction. D. Increased to 5 lakh rupees per transaction. The correct answer is D. Increased to 5 lakh rupees per transaction. The UPI limit has been increased to 5 lakh rupees per transaction for hospitals and educational institutions. Question 17. Where did Prime Minister Narendra Modi participate in the Navy Day program in 2023? A. Goa B. Kochi in Kela C. Sindhudurg in Maharashtra 
D. Chennai in Tamil Nadu. The correct answer is C. Sindhudurg in Maharashtra. Prime Minister Narendra Modi attended the Navy Day event in Sindhudurg, Maharashtra this year. Question 18. Who recently became the third woman from India to achieve the title of Grand Master in Chess? A. Sneha Gupta. B. Vaishali Ramesh Babu. C. Riya Sharma. D. Nandini Patel. The correct answer is B. Vaishali Ramesh Babu. Vaishali Ramesh Babu, a 22-year-old chess player, earned the title of Grand Master at the 4L Lobregat Open in Spain, becoming the third woman from India to achieve this feat, following Koneru Hampi and Harika Droavalli. Question 19. Which of the following union ministers has inaugurated the Global Fisheries Summit India 2023? A. Ajay Singh B. Ihardeep Singh Puri C. Rajnath Singh D. Parshottam Rupala The correct answer is D. Parshottam Rupala Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying Shri Parshottam Rupala will inaugurate the two-day mega-event Global Fisheries Conference India 2023 at Gujarat Science City in Ahmedabad. The theme of this conference is Celebration of Fisheries and Aquaculture Wealth. Question 20. Who has launched the initiative Develop India 2047, Voice of Youth? A. Narendra Modi B. Amit Shah C. Rajnath Singh D. Anurag Thakur The correct answer is A. Narendra Modi PM Narendra Modi has launched the initiative Viksit Bharat 2047, Voice of Youth. The aim of this initiative is to integrate the youth of the country to build a developed India. Question 21. What is India's rank in Climate Change Performance Index 2023? A. 4th B. 5th C. 6th D. 7th The correct answer is D. 7th. According to the report released in Dubai during the Global Climate Talks COP28, India is ranked 7th in the Climate Change Performance Index 2023. Last year, India was at 8th place in this index. Question 22. Who is going to become Meta India head? A. Sandhya Devnathan B. Shrishti Malakar C. Arundhati Chaube D. Safali Verma The correct answer is A. Sandhya Devnathan Meta Platforms Incaporated formerly named Facebook Incaporated and the Facebook Incaporated is an American multinational technology conglomerate based in Menlo Park, California. Founders are Mark Zuckerberg, Eduardo Savrin, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Moskowitz, Chris Hughes. Question 23. What name has been given to the tiny? Self-assembling robots made from human cells by scientists of Tufts University and Harvard University. A. Xenobots B. Anthrobots C. Biorobots D. Cellbots The correct answer is B. Anthrobots Anthrobots are tiny, self-assembling robots made from human cells. They can move around in a lab dish and are capable of healing neurons and damaged tissue. Question 24. What was the date of the merger of the Housing Development Finance Corporation, HDFC, and private lender HDFC Bank? A. 3rd July 2023 B. 2nd July 2023 C. 4th July 2023 D. 1st July 2023 The correct answer is D. 1st July 2023 The boards of Housing Development Finance Corporation, HDFC, and private lender HDFC Bank approved 1st July as the effective date of merger. Question 25 Who has IDFC First Bank collaborated with for the first SWIP credit card? A. Visa B. American Express C. Mastercard D. Discover The correct answer is C. Mastercard 
IDFC First Bank has partnered with Mastercard to develop the youth-centric first SWYP credit card. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and proceed for the next question. Question 26. Sandy Storm is the autobiography of which among the following veteran cricketers? A. Dilip Vengsalkar B. Mohinder Amarnath C. Sandeep Patil D. Roger Binney The correct answer is C. Sandeep Patil Sandeep Patil is a former Indian cricketer who played for the Indian national team in the 1980s and 1990s. He was a right-handed batsman and right-arm of break baller and was known for his aggressive style of play. Question 27 Operation Muskan, which was seen in the news, was implemented in which city? A. Mumbai B. Patna C. Bangalore D. Chennai The correct answer is A. Mumbai Over 5,000 minors rescued by Mumbai police so far this year under Operation Muskan, a Ministry of Home Affairs project lot it aims to find missing children and rescue and rehabilitate them. Question 28. What is the function of cash reserve ratio, CRR, in the Indian banking system? A. To regulate consumer credit. B. To determine the bank rate. C. To control liquidity in the banking system. D. To set credit limits for commercial banks. The correct answer is C. To control liquidity in the banking system. CRR mandates banks to maintain a daily balance with RBI, influencing liquidity in the banking system. Question 29. Who has recently assumed the position of Executive Director at the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, IB? A. Jitesh Das B. Jitesh John C. Jitesh Mohan D. Jitesh Reddy the correct answer is B. Jitesh John. In a recent announcement, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, IB, confirmed that Jitesh John, a seasoned Indian Economic Service Officer from the 2001 batch, has assumed the position of Executive Director. Question 30. Which country has launched Alhosan app to track children's vaccination? A. UAE B. Qatar C. Bahrain D. Israel The correct answer is A. UAE The United Arab Emirates, UAE, will use the upgraded al Hosan app to track children's vaccinations, and children will not be allowed in schools if their vaccination records are not updated on the app. Question 31 Henry Kissinger considered the most dominant American statesman of the Cold War period and who recently passed away was former A. President of United States B. Secretary of State of United States C. Prime Minister of England D. Prime Minister of Canada The correct answer is B. Secretary of State of United States Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger considered the most dominant American statesman of the Cold War period, passed away at age 100. As National Security Advisor and Secretary of State, the German-born Kissinger was the primary architect of historic rapprochement with China, landmark nuclear arms control talks with the Soviets, the 1973 israel peace deal, and the eventual Vietnam War exit. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1973. Question 32. Where are the headquarters of the International Cricket Council? A. London B. Melbourne C. Cape Town D. Dubai The correct answer is D. Dubai. The International Cricket Council has its headquarters in Dubai which is a global governing body of cricket. It was founded as the Imperial Cricket Conference in 1909 by representatives of England, Australia and South Africa. Question 33. World's oldest wooden structure has been discovered in which country? A. Zambia B. Egypt C. Greece D. Turkey 
The correct answer is A. Zambia. Archaeologists have unearthed what is claimed to be the most ancient wooden construction ever found close to the border of Zambia and Tanzania, located on the banks of a river in Zambia. Question 34. Who has been appointed as the chairperson and independent director of Swiggy's board? A. Vivek Sundar B. Anand Kripalu C. Dipinder Goyal D. Kunal Behel The correct answer is B. Anand Kripalu Anand Kripalu, with over 40 years of experience in the fast-moving consumer goods, FMCG, industry, has taken charge as the chairperson and independent director of Swiggy's board. Question 35 Who has been appointed as the new chairman of Max Life Insurance? A. Rajiv Anand B. Rajiv Ahir C. Anand Mohan D. Kulbhushan Singh The correct answer is A. Rajiv Anand Rajiv Anand has been appointed as the new chairman of Max Life Insurance. Question 36 Who tops the list of world's 100 most powerful women globally in 2023? A. Christine Lagarde B. Kamala Harris C. Georgia Meloni D. Ursula von der Leyen The correct answer is D. Ursula von der Leyen Ursula von der Leyen, President of the European Commission, holds the top spot. Question 37. What is the name of the first-ever AI-powered solution for automated agricultural news analysis developed in India? A. Krishi 24-7 B. Kisan 24-7 C. Krishak AI 24-7 D. Fasal AI 24-7 The correct answer is a. Krishi 24-7 Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, DFW, in collaboration with Vadwani AI developed Krishi 24-7, first-ever AI-powered solution for automated agricultural news analysis. Question 38 Who broke the marathon world record recently at the Chicago Marathon 2023? A. Elliot Kipchoge B. Kenenisa Bakley C. Ehele Jebslasi D. Kelvin Kiptung The correct answer is D. Kelvin Kiptung Kenyan runner Kelvin Kiptung broke the marathon world record on 8 October 2023 at the Chicago Marathon with a time of 2 hours and 35 seconds. He beat the previous record set by Elliot Kipchoge in 2022 by more than 30 seconds. Question 39. Which country won the ODI Cricket World Cup most number of times? A. England B. Australia C. India D. West Indies The correct answer is B. Australia. Australia won the Cricket World Cup most number of times. The most successful side playing international cricket is Australia which has won six one-day international World Cups, more than any other country. Question 40. As per a recent study, which planet will be temporarily invisible from the Earth in 2025? A. Neptune. B. Jupiter. C. Saturn. D. Uranus. The correct answer is C. Saturn. Saturn's rings, in 2025, will appear to vanish from sight from the Earth. This temporary vanishing act is attributed to Saturn's tilt and an optical illusion. Question 41. What is Nirmala Sitalman's ranking in Forbes World's 100 Most Powerful Women 2023? A. 30th B. 32nd C. 35th D. 40th The correct answer is B. 32nd Nirmala Sitaraman secured the 32nd spot, marking her highest rank to date. Question 42. Where was the 5th Honey Bee Day celebrated with the theme Bee Honey Trials? A. Manipur B. Mizoram C. Arunachal Pradesh D. Nagaland The correct answer is D. Nagaland. 
The fifth Nagaland Honey Bee Day was celebrated with enthusiasm at Naga Heritage Village, Kisma, in Nagaland, under the theme Bee Honey Trials. Deputy Chief Minister T. R. Zeeling congratulated the accomplished honey bee farmers at both the state and district levels during the event. Question 43. Which union ministry launched a national protocol to provide training of Anganwadi workers to help children with disabilities? A. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare B. Ministry of Women and Child Development C. Ministry of MSME D. Ministry of Home Affairs The correct answer is B. Ministry of Women and Child Development The government launched a national protocol to provide for training of Anganwari workers to track and help children with disabilities. Question 44 Which company partnered with Bridgestone India to install EV chargers for four-wheelers? A. Adani Power B. Reliance Power C. Tata Power D. NTPC The correct answer is C. Tata Power Bridgestone India has partnered with Tata Power to install high-capacity DC fast chargers for four-wheelers at Bridgestone dealerships across India. This initiative will make it easier for EV owners to recharge their vehicles quickly and conveniently and support the growing EV ecosystem in India. Question 45 who is the first Telugu actor to win the Best Actor Award at the National Film Awards 2023? A. Nagarjuna B. Vijay Devrakonda C. Alu Arjun D. Mahesh Babu The correct answer is C. Alu Arjun The Best Actor Award at the National Film Awards 2023 has been given to actor Alu Arjun. Alu Arjun has been given this award for his superhit film Pushpa. Alu Arjun is also the first Telugu actor to win the Best Actor Award at the National Film Awards. Question 46. What is the name of Google's most advanced AI model launched by its parent company, Alphabet? A. Orion B. Gemini C. Nebula D. Alpha Code the correct answer is B. Gemini. Alphabet, Google's parent company, unveiled Gemini, its latest and most advanced AI model, on 6 December, aiming to outpace competitors in the field of artificial intelligence. Question 47. Which Indian state UT has recently banned the Konokapas plant? A. Gujarat B. Goa C. Kerala D. Uttarakhand The correct answer is A. Gujarat Gujarat has recently banned the Konokapas plant because of its environmental and health hazards. This fast-growing exotic mangrove species, locally called as Sapparni, has become a popular choice for increasing green cover in the state over the past few years. Question 48 in which Indian city were the 115 million year old early Cretaceous shark fossils discovered? A. Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. B. Jaipur, Rajasthan. C. Jaislamar, Rajasthan. D. Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. The correct answer is C. Jaislamar, Rajasthan. The groundbreaking discovery of India's first early Cretaceous shark fossils dating back around 115 million years, took place in the Heber formation of the Jaisalmer Basin, Rajasthan. Question 49. Google Doodle recently celebrated which elephant known for its big tusks? A. Ahmed, the elephant. B. Kavi, the elephant. C. Raju, the elephant. D. Simba, the elephant. The correct answer is a. Ahmed, the elephant. Google Doodle dedicated an illustration to celebrate Ahmed, the elephant, known for his big tusks. Ahmed, born in 1919 in the forests of Mount Masabit, Kenya, gained global recognition for his massive tusks that scraped the ground, earning him the title the King of Masabit. Question 50. Who was appointed as the first woman director-general, DG? 
of the Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education, ICFRE, A. Kanchan Devi, B. Meera Sharma, C. Riya Singh, D. Anjali Patel, the correct answer is A. Kanchan Devi. Kanchan Devi, a 1991 batch Indian Forest Service officer from the Madhya Pradesh cadre, has been appointed as the Director General, DG, of ICFRE, making her the first woman to hold this esteemed position. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get latest videos on current affairs and other topic for various upcoming exams.